match, and that completes the day. Delivery could be a chance for Minamino. His second goal of the night. Swift to play to find out better again. He's got his cross in again. Shrewsbury lead at Anfield. The shot is on. Udo, the unlikely hero. Too much pace on his pass here, Sanji. He's done it again, hasn't he? Roshi stands between him and 2 1, but 2 1 it is. From behind to lead, and right before the break, too. And it won't be an ecstatic Jurgen Klopp, but it will be a relieved one. Delicate that for Fabinho, pulled back for Canate, and the back heel! Roberto Firmino, who will always pull out a party trick if he gets the chance, and it presented itself for him there. And Liverpool, belatedly, you would say, are safely heading for round four. That is the ball uh, comes into Fabinho, who's roofed up the four for Liverpool. Two bites and two goals in a game for Fabinho. That doesn't happen. Early turn, very nearly an early goal for Liverpool by Diego Jota. Back heel through the legs, the young defender. Fierce drive, good save. Ronald bends it away from goal, super header, super goal. He's done it again, Diego Jota. No Mane, no Salah, but they can always rely on this man. Jonathan moment the position, said he was going to go over the penalty spot, he went exactly over the penalty spot, and who was rising in that area, Jota. What a great chance for Jota to make it too. And on his back, he hit the deck too easily. Simicas has gone down this time. Themselves into trouble. It's called back. In the case of John Tower comes to Minamino and Liverpool are surely headed for round five. Well, and Carter got it all wrong. That's the SS's first contribution for Liverpool on that byline. Just a little bit sloppy from Cardiff defensively. But Diaz, great footwork on the byline and then rolls it back into the danger area. Control from Elliot. That ball absolutely fizzes into him, and his first touch is exceptional. And then he has the composure just to let it drop, bounce, and swivel and volley into the corner. That was a moment of magic from the young man. The mental exertions of intense focus. The first half of Cardiff, and Winston has caught up with him now. Davis. 
opportunity for Thorwell! Biggest cheer of the night! Liverpool 3, Cardiff City 1. Ruben Thorwell scores a goal at Anfield. To the Polish international, a lovely bit of play from him. Timo Puki with a chance to shoot here, oh, just dragging it wide of the post. Norwich City threatening for the first time this evening. Yes. Liverpool venturing forward now with Curtis Jones into Simakas. Origi with a little air. Simakas with the delivery, could be a chance for Minamino! His second goal of the night. And Liverpool starting to look good for the quarter-finals. Taking by Jota to Oxlade-Chamberlain, tees it up! And it was nearly 3-0. To Lucas Rook with a chance, and Lucas Rook scores for Norwich. At last, they've got a foothold in this cup tie. Into Rowe, 18-year-old substitute having a run at Milno, brings a save from Allison. And Norwich City now are asking a few questions. last season so absolutely smashed their return and they're looking for one here Jota could be in and that's a really good challenge from Worrell well, Jota asking for something from Craig Pawson but the referee didn't even look like he was considering getting his whistle out Jota Firmino set up for the hit and not a bad try from Simicas either yeah straight to take on. <laughs> now, here's Joe Lolly. Numbers forwards here. Lolly's got the goal. <laughs> Allison. Oh, tour from Allison. And all of a sudden there could be trouble. It's Davis. And still. And Allison rescues it. The flag goes up anyway. We work with Raheem Sterling and Trent Alexander Arnold. Here at Liverpool on the move here though. And Horvath. Back to a cut. We've got two, three yards inside their own half. And that left an awful lot of space to play ball. Good ball in the ball. And there's the only goal for Liverpool. And it's Diogo Jota once again who has done the business for Jurgen Klopp's side. A big let off at one end. Then they go up the other to get their noses in front. Well, that's what the best teams do, Mark. They punish you. You punish the mistakes that, uh, that you've created, the chances that you haven't taken. I just wonder the way I took the ball in. There's the goalkeeper here. Five minutes plus stoppage time, and they might be in here. Allison, did he catch it? Allison looks pretty composed. I think it's too honest, he was through here. Yeah. Just there when he takes it by him. Uh, no, he just left his leg there. But in fairness, for me, that's not a penalty. Yates has gone through, and he's actually just run his leg into Allison. Johnson, away from Simakas. Still Johnson. Puts it into a good area. There's the chance, and the header from Yates is straight at Allison. Steve Cooper is left the room. Another opportunity that goes begging. But no power in the header whatsoever. Brilliant play from Johnson. Delivered it in there. 
Liverpool get themselves over the line. Full time at a boisterous city ground. Nottingham Forest nil. Liverpool won. And it was attacked and headed in by Canate, who scores for a third game in a row. Liverpool have an early lead. Canate has turned into an unlikely goal scoring hero for Jurgen Klopp's Reds. Well, he's such a presence in the box. And Man City do have problems. When you look at the centre half, Stones is a good header of the ball, but there's not too many good headers of the ball for Man City. And he just gets a run on Nathan Ake, gets above him, and it's a good header. Different style of holding midfield. Oh dear me! Zach Steffen has had a disaster there for Manchester City. And Sadio Mane has doubled Liverpool's lead. He was trying to do what Emerson does so coolly on a regular basis. And he's made a real mess of it. A real mess. 2-0 Liverpool. Well, it's an absolute shocker for Manchester City. It wasn't just Stefan. The centre-backs, Fernandinho, were taking too long on the ball. They went backwards. Stones can play this forward. He goes back and back, invites the challenge, then goes back to the goalkeeper. His first touch gets caught underneath him, and then he can't manipulate the ball away from Mane. He, want, he wanted to take another touch, but by that time, it's too late, and Mane does really well by sliding in. Robertson again. Thiago. Alexander-Arnold. Thiago to Mane! Semi-final could be finished before halfway. What a strike from Mane! But it was all started by that big crossfield pass by Alexander Arnold. You mentioned it. Ball came to him first time. Switch of play. Cancelo got a bit lucky in the 1v1 on the other side of the field. They switched it again. They kept their composure around the box, Liverpool. And when it's chipped to Mane, he slices across it. Yes, people will say the goalkeeper should be bidden in his near post. But it's a great volley. Slicing across it into that near post area. What a first half for Liverpool we've got here. He's tucked it in around Van Dijk. Here's Jesus. Returns for Pino. Gabriel Jesus didn't shoot. Greenish does. And City have won back very quickly. Double quick time. The gap is down to two. And the City fans believe again. Well, he hardly had a kick in the first half. I thought he was poor, Jack Greenish. But that's a good finish. But it was made by a, a little bit of skill. Fernandinho does well here. Takes it on. He plays a nice little ball in behind. Jesus gets away from Fabinho and then sets up Grealish on his left foot past Alexander-Arnold. Maybe, maybe game on here. Jack Grealish gets his fifth goal as a Manchester City player. Here comes Mahrez, involved in the game. That's what he's been brought on for, and he's done pretty well. Couldn't score, but Bernardo Silva can. Hold on to your hats. Grandstand finish coming. 3-2 at Wembley. Maybe the 
treble dream is still just about beating for Manchester City. That is a magnificent bit of play from Mahrez. Good first touch. Nothing else on, so he tries to beat the goalkeeper Anderson at the near post. And it falls nicely. Look at the pace, the control, the vision to go in at the near post. No one he can find. And there's Bernardo Silva in the right place. And a touch away from opening the scoring. It was all from a bad kick from Mendy, who now finally could breathe again. So, the header from Salah goes too high. Well, it's a poor clearance to start with. They gave the ball away. Rhys James was high up the field. Look how high Rhys James was up the field. He can't get back, so Chalaba's got to do the 1v1 defending. And it's almost brilliant from Diaz. Diaz, here's Keita. Beneficiary of Fabinho's absence. And Diaz is cutting through again. This is a real chance. Scrambled away, but only as far as Navi Keita, who wants to drive it back. He can't find the target. And Luis Diaz is annoyed with himself. One on one with the keeper. He couldn't convert. Well done, Edouard Mendy for Chelsea. Well, a couple of great passes. The first one you mentioned from the goalkeeper. Alisson, the second one was from Alexander-Arnold. Watch when it comes to him here, he sees the run of Diaz. Chalaba isn't alive to the situation. He just stands up for as long as he possibly could. Mendy, the second shot from Cater, not a particularly good one, but at the moment, Liverpool are cutting Chelsea apart here. Chelsea fans a little bit to cheer, but it wouldn't have counted. Well, that's where you want to see Lukaku back it into defenders. It's a good ball played by Rhys James. And this is better. And it's Marcus Lund, they've got a great chance. But Allison came out and it was a. Uh, Big spread, a successful one. Chelsea starting to get going, Stuart. Yeah, great opportunity. On his left foot as well, Marcus Alonso. Listen, who made the save. Took a whack there. A good opportunity that was for Marcus Alonso. Pulisic running with the ball. Looks like he'd taken too long and then just passed it side of Alexander Arnold. Alonso! Good play. Chelsea are in again. Allison saves again. The second of the chances. Alonso plays it into Lukaku. Good link up play from Lukaku. He tries to play it in at the near post. Oh, and it's hit the bar. Alonso's free kick. Alisson was reaching for it, might have crushed his fingertips. Alexander Arnold to visit across. On it. In the end for Andy Robinson, the fullbacks, as they do so often for Liverpool, have paved the way to victory. Well, it's a good ball, isn't it? It's an overload against Reese James, who misses it. Hater. Jota! Jota 
not quite the slaughter. Again, balls one back in a good area. Robertson picks out a decent pass to start with Marley round the corner. Jota just pulls off the back of Rudiger, tries to go back across the goalkeeper. How many times have we seen this today? The ball just missing past the post. Here's Diaz trying to bend it. Wembley, another special FA Cup final memory. Great intent, not quite great enough execution. Well, he did everything right. Picked up the ball because there was a good overlapping run. Let's see who makes the run. Thiago plays the ball in. Robertson makes the run. That means that James backs off and gives him time just to get it onto his right foot. Oh, that was nearly it. Luis Diaz, who started the game as the most dangerous attacker, really finished the game Liverpool's way. Again, you see Antonio Rudiger is playing as a left back here. And Diaz just gets the other side, and it's a good first touch. Only plays in the ball, great way to pass. And you would say he probably had it covered. Costa Simicas has been a, a good foil, a good stand in. Greek international plays with the same sort of perky approach, covers the distance. Oh, he's at post, and Allison got a touch to it. But the club skipper, the first blood in the shootout goes Allison's way, Liverpool's way. He doesn't get a touch, he just plays it too wide, doesn't he? He's trying to wrap his foot round, you can see the bit of bend on the ball. Oh, frustration. Despair for Ascoli Quater. Mane marks out his run. And it's saved by... Edward Mendy, he came up with the save when Chelsea were begging him to do it. Even the great players can suffer anxiety in this situation, and Sadio Mane is a great player. But what a good save. He has to have a strong hand. period goes on for this very gifted young player. Well, what a shame for Mason Mount. Brilliant from Allison. The next with a chance to win it for Liverpool is the man they call the Greek Scouser. Costas Simikas. Chelsea need Mendy again. The highest of dramas here. Simikas for Liverpool and wins it for Liverpool. A nerveless penalty, no wonder he's off and running. They win the FA Cup and the expense of Chelsea. And just like in the League Cup in the final here in February, they've done it via a penalty shootout. A domestic double tech quadruple is still on. An unwanted history for Chelsea. Liverpool win it, the 2022 FA 
Cup winners. They once again are the champions. The celebrations won't last too long because they've got huge games to come. Southampton on Tuesday, then into the final day of the season, then the Champions League final. It's what comes with success.